Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. We are back in my Bango yard at the moment. This is a yard that uh, about two and a half weeks ago, we went. I went round with about six small hives that needed boosting with the newspaper method on top of the other hives. So if you have a look here, I have a small colony here that had about two frames of boot, maybe one or two frames of brood and two or three frames of bees, maybe four frames of bees that went on, on top of a colony that was considerably stronger. It had lots of brood and was in need of expansion room anyway. So it's taken the pressure off the larger colony below by giving it somewhere to put its extra resources and gave the smaller colony a boost by those bees slowly merging with the colony above because they ate their way through the newspaper keeping the queen retained down below by the queen excluder so there's a queen up here and a queen down here both of which are going well at the moment i hope and we'll have a look inside and see how how many bees have migrated up so come along this side we'll have a look remember there was about between two and four frames of bees upstairs here before. And like the yards in Hamden, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seams filled with bees. A bit of room to expand here yet. And right now, because it's cold, I'm not going to go in there and look at too much brood. Or, in fact, right now, I'm not going to look at any brood. But I just want to check to see what things look like underneath as well. Because everything is filling up so quickly, I'm concerned that there's a chance of swarming. And downstairs, we've got brood in one, two, three, four, five, probably six combs here full of brood. You can just see the brood at the bottoms of the frames. I don't see any queen cells or even any queen cups, so that's good. And down here, the bees are fully occupying the hive below. It may not be the same story down below. They may be in a situation where they could swarm. But we've taken some of the pressure off this hive. And all those extra bees are up here helping this queen rear some brood. So, so far, so good. Let's see what the others are like. Again, a two-story colony on, a, on top of a colony that was pretty well occupied already. And right away I can see there's plenty of bees. And again, the combination looks to have worked very well. Taking a lot of bees out of this colony and put them up here. If the new queen has been filling this up with larvae, She'll need some room pretty, pretty quickly. And what I can see here, there's a couple of queen cups, but they're not charged with eggs or anything like that. I can see brood in one, two, three frames. So the queen has clearly been laying up here. This colony is not quite as full of bees as the other one. You can see there's some space here and some space here and here. So this colony is not in danger of overgrowing, but it's in a prime condition to split shortly. So this colony has been absor has absorbed worker bees from the hive below and uh, the queen is laying considerably more brood than she had before. So coming along very well.
another hive over here with the newspaper on. So if we just film from the top to the bottom there. So two story hive here, paper between and the uh, queen excluder and the hive that needed some boosting. Right to the edge. Every seam filled with bees. Ten, ten seams filled with bees. In fact, it's eleven seams. The two outside edges are full as well. This is super strong. This is a sort of colony that's in danger of swarming. Even though I've taken some of the pressure off by putting a small hive above it. You can see that they're actually filling up with honey. There's new, if you come closer, there's uh, new whitish cappings here, which is freshly stored honey. We're getting a bit of a dandelion flow at the moment. So the whiteness of it is telling me there's a lot of nectar coming in. And of course, right now, our priority is brood production. Nectar coming in is great, but if it's taking the place of brood rearing, it means that we also have a danger of being overcrowded. So it needs more room. If we look down under here and get as close as we can, we can see it's absolutely full of brood. Full of brood. One, two, three, four. This one's probably full of eggs and things, but you can see the drone larvae sticking out at the bottom here. Full of capped worker brood, worker brood, worker brood in there. See a queen cup here. No egg in it. Another queen cup there. No egg in it. There and there. So there's just a, there's no room in this hive. This hive needs to be split or to have more room put on right away. This is certainly ready to come off as a split or to make nukes from. This one is, requires urgent attention. But it's cold and damp today, so conditions are pretty poor compared to what we've had so far. Tomorrow is going to be a better day to do this work, but I've got to get the assessments done when we can do. So. We're going to mark this hive as in need of some urgent work. Let's come around this one, these two. Let's have a look at this one. Come around here. of bees up here. I think we're going to find exactly the same as we found in the last colony. Yeah, absolutely stuck with bees. Remember this queen only had a couple of frames of brood before. We're going to have a good five or six in here. Just looking down I can see it's full of brood. Here, 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 and here. I wouldn't be surprised if the ones outside it are also full of brood as well. So the combination certainly worked. With uh, these hives, the hives down below would certainly have swarmed weeks ago had we not given them the room. Brood in definitely this one. One, two, three, four, five, six at least six frames of brood from what was originally two frames of brood. 
this hive also has no room for further room for expansion. This brood is going to emerge very shortly. So we know it's been just under three weeks, so we know that relatively little of it will have none, none of it will have emerged yet except for what was originally there. So the extra four frames of brood they'll be emerging in the next week. So I wanted to just simply make a two-way split, take this hive off, this super off right now, and add another super to it, because this is ready to explode in strength. So any of those splits that we've seen where we've added a, not a split, any of those boosted hives that were a couple of frames now are four to six frames of brood in there. They could be taken off right now to make uh, a new split. And I may very well do that today or tomorrow. Once I've assessed what the other hives are like, I'm having to run to keep still at the moment just to stop them swarming. But uh, very shortly what I'm gonna be doing is splitting these colonies into nukes. If not today, tomorrow. Is that a this split? This has had another box added to it, but they're a little less advanced than the uh, first of the combined hives that I looked at before. Yeah, about two weeks ago, this was um, just getting brewed in it. There's still some expansion room here, which is nice. So I'd only just started to put brood in this about, I think it was 17 days ago. Um, but I think we'll find the up there building the comb out nicely. Not quite on this one, but they are doing down here. building that comb out. This one's being built out, the two outside ones for foundation. Let's have a quick look and see how far the brood has got up there. Honey and pollen. I can see brood in the frame next to it. So as expected, these two were honey and pollen when originally. The four in the middle, I can see brood in them and they're expanding out into it. So this is a classic structure of how the expansion uh, box works. When you add a box that's got four combs of drawn comb, two frames with resources in it, and then four more with just foundation. So because I'm slipping behind, the uh, expansion room is here and they're starting to build the comb in the space and that's why that foundation is here in the first place, to buy me time. Because I can take this off now and make a wonderful split. And I'll bet you there's a nice comb of brood here. That is a nice comb of brood. Filled almost to the edges with cat brood, honey and pollen, or new nectar in here and pulling around the edges and that comb looks the same and that comb looks the same. So this is ready to be split. So I could just take this box off, put a new queen in and we would be ready to go. This is not one of those combined hives. This was just an expansion box that was put on a strong colony in the first place. So less than three weeks it's taken to fully occupy this space. All right. Are you rolling? Yes, sir. Okay, if you get, get right up on close here. Now what we have here is a colony that it's in very urgent need of splitting because we have swarm cells developing. So these were queen cups last week, but now They've been extended, and what we have in here is a larva, and it's full of royal jelly. 
which is the food that they feed the queen larvae. All of these are swarm cells. They're not sealed yet, but if this hive is left unchecked, it will swarm within the next week. So this whole colony needs to be split right away. This is the sign of queen of swarming taking place. There may be a lot more queen cells in here than this, but that's what you need to know. This colony is going to swarm unless we do something about it. And this year we have a lot of colonies in this sort of state. 